holder of Satan. Go to any forest in any country. Walk towards the deepest part of the wood until the only sound is your own footsteps and labored breathing. When even those sounds have faded, sit on the ground with your eyes closed. You should soon hear the sound of water. If you don't hear it, turn and run. Run until you have found yourself in the heart of human civilization. If you don't, a creature unlike any you've seen will drag you through the trees, the bark tearing the flesh from your bones. You will never be found. If you do hear the water, open your eyes. Before you will be a waterfall and a pond, even if the land was flat and dry for miles around you. Face the waterfall and ask only one question. Why does beauty cause such pain? Standing at the top of the waterfall will be the most charming and attractive member of your desired sex. Though from the corner of your eyes you will notice horns and hooves. No matter how they entreat and cajole you, no matter what they ask, you must not speak to or look at them, and you absolutely must not move. You will want to do as they ask. It will feel like the most important thing in the world, for their rewards for your serving them will seem too great to resist. If you can hold out and remain sane, they will jump from the waterfall and land before you. In a voice like the hushed tones of lovers, screams of those in pain, and whimpers of frightened children, all speaking together, they will tell you. In great detail will they describe every jealous and cruel act of violence, every rape, every act of greed or desire. The wars caused for beauty, for treasure, for glory. Every sin of man committed in the name of something beautiful will be made known to you. The person before you will lead you through the woods to a small wooden house from which screaming can be heard. The door will open and you must go in. When you enter, the woman giving birth within will stop screaming because she has died. Take a knife from the table next to the door and cut the woman's stomach open. Inside you will find not a child, but a ravenous bird which will eat its mother's flesh. In your pockets you will find a hood and shackles for the bird and a glove all made of human skin. Hood the bird, rest it on your gloved hand and shackle it. Turn and walk away from the house. Walk straight until you find a town, any town. Do not discuss the bird with anyone. Take the fastest, most direct route home. The bird is object 666 of 2538. You cannot give what it hungers for, but blood will do for now.